I welcome everybody uh, into this. Uh, I would say experimental uh, culmination of an experimental workshop into an experimental webinar because when we started, we really didn't know where we are and where we will end. So thank you for uh, joining us today. Um, I would request uh, Sayandev, who is a participant from the workshop that happened last year, to start the show. Good afternoon. We welcome everyone. I am glad to announce that today is with us the director of Kolkata Center for <coughs> Creativity, Ms. Rina Diwan. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for this introduction, uh, Sayandev. Uh, now, uh, the people who are not speaking can go back on mute. I would just briefly introduce uh, KCC, that is Kolkata Center for Creativity, um, as an art and cultural organization. Kolkata Center for Creativity works as a bridge between art practitioners, facilitators, learners, researchers, and communities. Through collaborations and partnerships between different agencies and stakeholders, we try to bring in some changes by connecting people locally as well as globally. As a result of these processes, we believe magic happens and today's sharing is a great example of that. We believe art heals, art connects, and facilitates self-expression. I would now uh, request uh, Dr. Anamika Sinha to please introduce Manu Vikas. Manu Vikas is mm -hmm. our main partner in this uh, uh, workshop that happened in the, over the last three days. <clears throat> over to you, Dr. Sinha. Thank you so much. Uh, Manavika's Kendra is an institute. We had started in, in 1974. So it's more than 46 years. It's an NGO and uh, we take uh, the, we provide the services to the children and young adults with special need. We have uh, early intervention unit. We have outpatients department where we uh, do the assessment diagnosis of the children and young adults with disabilities. We have a special school where we take uh, the special educational and educational part of the uh, children. And we have up to senior secondary level. Uh, we have all therapeutic interventions done in our outpatients department, right from the physiotherapy, occupational hydrotherapy and multi-sensory therapy sessions uh, given to the children and young adults. We have a vocational setup also as a part of the school uh, program. And uh, we, our ultimate aim is to rehabilitate these children in the society, in the community, so that they can live their life gracefully. Uh, we have some training programs for the parents. And we also have a biomedical research lab where we do the uh, research work, which is supported by the government of India. And we are trying to find out the causes and prevention of various types of disabilities. Uh, we have started another wing, Mano Chetna, where we take care of the children who are having learning disabilities in the mainstream schools. So we reach out to the mainstream schools to uh, provide that support to the uh, children there. We provide the training modules to the teachers who are working with these children's in, uh, children in the mainstream schools. And uh, we try to uh, promote inclusion. We strongly believe in uh, inclusion and we try to endorse inclusion through various ways. So uh, we have uh, some awareness programs for uh, reach out programs. We have uh, two uh, branches. We have uh, New Alipur branch where we have similar setup of school, preschool and vocational setup. We have another community-based rehabilitation uh, module in a rural area where we provide the children all the facilities, the special educational, educational and other services, absolutely free. We don't charge the children because they come from the very modest socioeconomic background. 
So, uh, Manavikas Kendra has received several uh, awards and accolades, and uh, we are recognized by Government of India for various programs. So, we are happy that we are able to connect with other programs, other activities, and uh, other ventures. And our students are doing wonderful. We are trying to provide them that rehabilitation in, in the community. Though we all know that it's a big challenge. Acceptance is a big challenge because to provide them that uh, rehabilitation is not easy. But still, many of our students, they have been placed in different places in uh, India, in Kolkata, and they're doing pretty well. So I'm sure that inclusion will come and when uh, everybody will be given equal opportunity, equal rights, uh, without any discrimination. Thank you so much. And I'm really happy to be a part of this program today. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sina. Um, I would now uh, like to introduce Phil. Phil is a community artist and community cultural development leader and he's associated with the organization Wild at Heart Community Arts, which is our uh, partner organization with KCC. And this collaboration is between these two organizations mainly. Phil, may I ask you to please uh, introduce Wild at Heart. Thank you, Rena, and thank you for having us here. It's been, it is a real honor to be amongst those people who are here today. And it is, has especially been an honor for us to work with the students from the school over the past three days in a really wonderful workshop to bring a really hands-on exercise to be creative, to use your voice, to be able to speak and to be heard and to create art through your own voice. And that's the foundation of the work that we do at Wild at Heart. We exist really to give a voice for people with disabilities, people with mental illness, people who are disadvantaged and excluded in society uh, through their perceived disability. And we do that through, particularly through music making, through arts making. And so um, we work a lot with communities in uh, the cities and in the country areas of uh, the state of Victoria, in Australia particularly, um, building programs that are community-based, working with um, you know local governments and working with community organizations to form uh, accessible places where people can find friendship, where people can find a place to belong, and particularly people say to us a place where they're not judged, where they're not um, discriminated against or, or meet the stigma that is often encountered in the community and where the opportunity to be listened to and to be taken seriously as a creator, as a contributor, as a fellow human being, profoundly changes people when the cultural norm in our society is that uh, very frequently people are ostracized and marginalized for what is perceived as a difference. And the beautiful expression someone gave to me recently was that we all have the human condition and the human condition is broad and varied. And just as Dr. Sin has said that inclusion will come, and I believe it will come when we understand that the human condition is broad and varied. And that's Wild at Heart's work is to tell that story through the arts making of people who are often seen as on the fringes. Um, so we work with community a lot. We also work to make pathways for people to begin as an arts maker and to establish an identity as an artist and then to find a, uh, an opportunity for them to tell their story. And for some people also that means to make a career and to make a professional life as an artist. So we work a lot with the media. We work a lot with the music industry and the music community more broadly to build that level of understanding and acceptance and welcome, most importantly, of people from uh, many varied backgrounds. And so um, Rena and I, we met each other as part of a arts leadership program that the Australian government runs. And uh, when we met, 
we clicked and we said, uh, I like what you're doing and I like what you're doing. Let's see if we can build a bridge between Australia and India. And it's always fascinating when you spark an idea, but you have no idea where that idea will go to come to, it's more than a year and a half ago that we had that conversation um, to realize a dream. And particularly in this time that we have all lived through, we're still living through this period of COVID and the huge impact on our lives to believe that we could find and make friendship and find unique human expression and share that across thousands and thousands of kilometres of ocean between New York City, Melbourne, Australia and Kolkata, India. But we've done that and it's, uh, I loved your expression, Rena, when you were describing uh, KCC and, and your language was beautiful and then suddenly you hit the word magic and it is like magic. It's the capacity we each have in ourselves to be, to have an imagination to have creativity and that's the way we communicate our human experience and that's what we have done together over these past three days and that is fundamentally the work of Wild at Heart. Lovely. Thank you so much, Phil. And may I also now request you to please introduce our star of the workshop, our lead artist, Keith. Keith Jones is a hip-hop artist from the United States of America and I knew of Keith and Leroy Moore and their network of hip hop artists with disability called Crip Hop Nation for many years. And when COVID hit and we all had to get online, we said, who can we connect with internationally? This is the time to connect with the rest of the world. And I remembered and we, we found um, Keith and his partner Leroy in Crip Hop Nation, we rang them up and we said, can we do some work together? And we are hugely honoured to have such uh, an amazing artist, uh, an important artist to work with us. And Keith has come on board to be the lead artist in this project between Australia and India. So um, Keith, we are very honoured to have you here and particularly marking International Day for people with disability. Uh, and I'd love to invite you to tell us a little bit about yourself and about your work in the arts and disability rights and activism and maybe some of your reflections on our workshop process the last few days. Uh, Keith Jones, ladies and gentlemen. Well, thank you all for having me. Um, can you hear me? I'm not sure if it's... All right, good. Um, thank you for having me. Um, it was an amazing experience. I finally learned Bengali. It took me forever to say the words right, but I did it. Um, what I learned about this is that music is international. Uh, music touches everybody, regardless of what human condition you have. So here in America, I'm a disability rights advocate for everybody. So much like you talked about inclusion and the human condition, the goal is to get everybody to see beyond whatever the diagnosis is, beyond whatever perceived limitations are. I'm a person with a disability. And so when I go out of my house, people are people greet me with shock questions. How do I do this? How do I do that? Then they find out that I'm a father of four. They get even more shocked because they cannot believe that people with disabilities can actually grow up, have a life, have kids, get old, go to parties and just live a life. So the process that we had with the last three days, we did an amazing work. All the participants were excited. All of them were great. And what we learned, what I learned is that even if you don't know hip hop, music doesn't matter what kind of music it is if you can find something that connects. We did love, community, and family. And those themes are universal because it's about acceptance. And so the one thing that I hope the kids came away with is that they do have a voice. Even though acceptance is different in different cultures, that your life matters. So as long as they understood that their voices carry weight, I think the process, 
it'd be great to see what this would be like if we actually had more than three hours to do a song. <laughs> um, <laughs> the song. The song might be 35 minutes long, but um, it was fantastic. The kids were great. And I think this is just showing across the world, particularly today, on International Disability Awareness Day, that it is just what fills it, a part of the human condition. Because if we are smart, we're smart enough to decide that we don't like you because of your disability. We should be smarter to decide that we love you because of your disability. So thank you all for having me. I'm looking forward to seeing what we can do next. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much, Keith. We are also looking forward to that, definitely. And um, I would request you to please introduce uh, your partner in crime for this workshop, Sizi. My homeboy, Sizi. <laughs> Sizi is... Uh, <laughs> Sizi was my, my Bengali hip-hop translator. And I would like to turn it over to the man who made it all happen. Ladies and gentlemen, Sizi. Uh, hey, hey, what's up? I'm a Bangla rapper from Kolkata. Yeah, and it was a great experience. Um, I mean, this whole idea of disabilities and all of that, that's just, it kind of struck to me in a different kind of way because how I look at it, we are all unable to do one thing or the other. We are good at some things and we are not so good at other things. But what we should really focus on are the things that we are really good at and catered it to the rest of the world. So that's what we get praised for and that's what we get highlighted for. Just how Phil highlighted my video right now in this session. <laughs> yeah, so basically like this culture, this music, this movement, whatever we call it, this doesn't stop at any barriers, be it in language or other disabilities or anything. I don't think anything can stop it. It's just 2020 right now. Uh, it's not, I mean, everything is global right now. Right now we can see like Australians and uh, it's middle of the night for Keith right now and I'm getting late for work. <laughs> That's like, really, we are all coming together. So this is across any boundaries. I think we can really reach over. And as uh, Anamika Ma'am was saying, inclusion, inclusion is near. It's not that far anymore. We are a lot more developed than before. So I think we are really close to where we were getting to. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Siri, can, could you put a little bit light on your experience of the workshop, like when you were working with the children, because this was your first experience with uh, this kind of format of the workshop. So say, if you could just say a bit about that from the our side, from the Bengal side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, um, I don't know. I mean, this workshop didn't feel like much of something new this felt like home this felt like i'm hanging out with some of my friends i'm i mean i'm just telling them that this is how i do it so you can learn from it and they didn't take much long to learn it that's like i just had to tell them once and they were like okay i got this <laughs> they, <laughs> they were like super ready and enthusiastic to do something or the other they didn't hesitate uh, i think there was like one or two who was a bit silent the first day but the next day they were like no we want to do it as well and they wrote down a lot of lines in their copies and we had like brilliant artists i can remember like uh i, I remember from the top of my head roshan bishal uh, shayande who's already in the group with us right now and these guys were really killing it i mean they were all on the top of it all the time i mean I, and the, some of them showed us like brilliant pictures like shayan laha and all of those and yash drew like brilliant of that like, I never saw anything like that from my friends. So I'm trying to make friends with these guys right now. It was a great experience. I mean, I think I didn't teach much to them, but I learned a lot of things from them. So yeah. Yeah, I, I totally agree with you. Actually, it did not feel like that, you know, uh, the artists are teaching anything new to the participants. They were as if they were already ready. So that kind of response, yeah, which was- they taught us a lot. <laughs> yeah. That was phenomenal. So I'll now uh, invite uh, Felicity, who is an integral part of this workshop, to please introduce the song that we have created, Love Family Community. We just did the song, <clears throat> our hip hop song with the Indian students. And 
and I'd like to welcome it into the meeting now. So if Keith could play it, please. Thanks, Felicity. We, we'll, we, we, will we, share the lyrics. we will share the lyrics on the screen so people can view and see the lyrics and mm -hmm. we'll play... We're going to play an excerpt from the song because yeah. we had nearly 20 writers in the workshop. So Eight minutes it's, long. It's a very long song. We'll yes, hear it is. an excerpt from the song. Phenomenal. It was it was really, really amazing, phenomenal work. I am sure um, our as as participants would have enjoyed a bit of the glimpse of what happened in last three days, which were really short. And uh, we didn't know at, at the end something will come out or not, but here we are. I think we can actually give it to a music company and maybe uh, we, we never know. So I'll invite uh, Dr. Anamika Sina once again uh, into the conversation. Dr. Sina, uh, from your uh, school side, the Mano Vikas, what are the challenges that uh, you felt that if there were any challenges faced, first of all, and you keep on doing uh, many kind of uh, engagement for the children, as you also mentioned. So how different it was for you as facilitator of this uh, workshop? Uh, in India, as you know, every difference is a challenge. Every diversity is, uh, you know, not well accepted. So everywhere, wherever we go, we have to face these challenges. Though over the years, people are coming forward, they are more you know, aware of uh, various types of disabilities and they at least extend their hands and support to, the, to support the cause. But still there are places where we have to face these challenges. I remember, you know, 15 years or 20 years ago when we used to go to park for a picnic, taking all the children together so we had to face uh, these problems that uh, they were saying that uh, the wheelchairs are not allowed. You know, you cannot mm -hmm. wheelchairs inside because the grass uh, will be, uh, you know, there will be a problem if you take the wheelchairs and all. 
so but now i feel that people are more open they are coming forward mm. want to include these children many of the places they don't know how to do but still they are open more open so awareness is there but i feel lot more has to be done to spread more awareness people are uh, you know some of the people they have that mindset mm. that inclusion uh, is difficult but i think it may be difficult but it's not impossible if we feel uh, that yes we have to include all include all means i i really mean it means all not ex- excluding even a single child yeah so uh, doc- like in our institute we do uh, in our dr sina dr sina maybe yes. i need to little bit rephrase my question yeah. the uh, i would like you to focus on the ex- experience related with this particular workshop like when i remember i came to you for the first time and i yeah. narrated to you what we are trying to do and i myself was not coming from a uh, physical experience of this workshop and uh, we tried to convey to you what is going to happen and i think you had a lot of questions in your mind yeah so yeah. so in regard to this workshop yeah. what are the challenges that you face number one and number two from the participant side like did you face any challenges with the parents mm. with the participant themselves if you can just focus on that part yeah uh, i'm sorry it's regarding this workshop Uh, speaking about this workshop you know uh, there was a challenge to choose the children because mm. we have various uh, ages and various strengths and weaknesses of the child so we had to set the criteria that uh, what will be the criteria to choose the children because we had to choose just 10 to 15 max 15 you know so we had to work on the uh, first criteria was the children who can follow instructions the second was a language that has been sorted out because cz was there to you know interpret the things immediately and he has done a wonderful work he has really connected very well with the students at cz and he has translated so things in bengali so it was easier for them to understand the third was uh, uh, some of the students they were unable to write so we have to make it a point that at least who can write in words not even in sentences but at least in words uh and we had to include parents i had to uh, you know ask you i had already asked you that if we can include at least one of the parents mm. to pair with the children so it will be easier for them to you know if there is any gap the parents can fill it up so these were yes. the challenges and uh, you know we were uh, really determined that we have to take the children so uh, worked out very well because all the children they uh, they were very enthusiastically they were participating and they enjoyed it thoroughly so ultimately i think if we feel that if we can overcome these challenges so there is no challenge as such so that's the thing thank you thank mm. you for uh, sharing this uh, dr sina and uh, my last question to you is that uh, since you experience different kind of uh, programs and activities uh, to engage these children so how different do you feel this particular program was and uh, was it different and if you can little bit talk about your experience on that uh actually music and dance they are really integral part of their curriculum and as you said music is really magical it touches everyone with irrespective of anybody's disability or degree of Uh, severity uh so music connects them very well so uh this type of workshops you know it was an experimental uh, experiment for us too we had never been to uh, such kind of workshops earlier so it was a wonderful experience for us though they had been participating in uh, other workshops based on music and dance and uh, we have in our institute we have uh, dance movement therapy and music also has been used as a therapy for them but that's a totally different uh, thing altogether so here in this workshop it has come out very well and uh, students they had found a new way to express themselves mm-hmm. now uh, 
giving, uh, getting all the grammar of the, uh, you know, sentence and other things, not getting into all technicalities. Mm. It, they were free to express themselves. So it's a wonderful way. I think all of them, even the teachers, we all enjoyed uh, working on it and, you know, the way they were accepting the things and uh, they, uh, through their expressions, mm. you know, it was a wonderful uh, event. Amazing. Lovely. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's true that, you know, there, there is freedom when you, you are not bound by the vocabulary or the grammatical uh, errors and, you know, nobody is judging you on that. And that way, I think uh, it's a very smart thing to choose rap and hip hop because they are that kind of freedom this this art expression itself provides you that, you know, you, you can just stay and with, without any uh, any kind of limitation. Mm -hmm. So it's quite empowering in a way and it's quite liberating also. So thank you so much uh, once again, uh, Dr. Sina. Now uh, we are go going to go live on Facebook for a short time. And during this time, because we did not really want to share the entire thing uh, uh, on the Facebook with people, but there are a few things which are required to be shared. Hence, we'll just take that part on uh, Facebook. So if everybody's fine, then can we go live on Facebook now? Yeah, great. Uh, Shravasti. Hi, everyone. Uh, we are in the middle of a webinar, which is an outcome of a three-day workshop, experimental workshop for us, actually, oh. in, in India here. And um, I'm going to uh, uh, invite uh, the lead artist, Keith, into the conversation and ask him about sharing his experience about the process with the participants in uh, in Bengal on this workshop. Well, thank you for having me. Uh, my experience with sharing it you know, with, you know, the first time of working with hip hop in Calcutta and in, in writing languages and writing a hip hop in three languages was an amazing experience. Uh, I think as we had discussed before coming on, um, the beauty of the hip hop is that there was no wrong way to do it. They, the kids all got a chance to be who they were and who they are and express. Mm -hmm. They got to sing, they got to dance, they got to do all of the good things. And I believe um, through the process, what I learned is that music, music bridges all gaps. Uh, whether you know hip hop or not, whether you know Bengali hip hop or not, whether you know Bollywood music or not, uh, you you get a chance to learn somebody, and when you allow them to write from their self, they get to express themselves in a way that most times people with disabilities, regardless of where they are in the world, do not have that opportunity. And working with a fantastic co-artist uh, with Sizzy, we, we we managed to do some things in three hours that most people can't do in two weeks. So, Sissy, if you could just tell me, what did you think about working with a, an American hip hop artist and going back and forth between Bengali and English? I mean, it was a phenomenal experience. I mean, all three, these three days, uh, working with kids who probably know more, than, more about hip hop than both of us. <laughs> I mean, they're hearing about hip hop for the first time and they were on board and they knew more about us. <laughs> so, uh, and I mean, it was a great experience to hear from you, the, uh, how you, how you talk to the students, how you told them to be themselves and express themselves. And they just opened up their wings and they started to fly and it was a, it was an insane opportunity to be there to witness that yeah, life and be a part of it. I mean, and I'm thankful to this team, this whole team, um, uh, KCC and Wild at Heart and everyone else who made this possible, one of Vikash Kendra, especially you, Kit. Thank you for being the person you are and keep doing what you do. <laughs> thank you. Yes, sir. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so much, Keith. Thank you, um, CZ. Uh, I'm now uh, going to invite Phil into the conversation. So during the residency of Australia Leadership Program in Melbourne, I met with Phil a year ago and our interest in the application of art for the empowerment of communities coincided. And we kept talking of ways to work together. In between, the COVID crisis happened and any hope to get the support of funding died. 
but thankfully our conversations did not and as a result we have we finished today a three day long workshop with specially able participants from australia india and usa a new process for us to facilitate self expression we have a rap song and a performance ready which has been written together by all participants along with hip hop artists it was our first twist with this experimental workshop and i'm thankful to all the teachers parents and participants who trusted us and became part of it phil i would like to invite you to the conversation and ask you to please share your experience about this process thank you reena do you know what i'd love to do before i share some thoughts is is actually to invite lee and felicity and shayan deb to tell us about their experience of the workshop Lee, are you ready to tell us a bit about what the last three days has been like for you with the Indian students? Um, I think what I'm trying to say, I think that's really good. I like doing that. I like meeting those kids because um, they are important to our hip hop community. Well, I think it's for the best for everyone. What was it like working in a new language, Lee? Um, I know it's a bit difficult, but I get a hang of it. And Sizzy was a good teacher, hey. Um, Phil, can, can you let Chloe know that I'm back on? Yep, I think Chloe's here. She um, knows. Shay and Deb, are you here with us, Shay and Deb? I think you are. Yeah, he come is. On? He's just on mute. Hello, Shay and Deb. Can you tell us about what you thought was, about the workshop? It was wonderful these three days. Enjoyed a lot. Tried to be friends with people other than my country. I loved it. Thank you. And Shay and Deb, you wrote some beautiful words. Do you remember what your writing was about? Could you maybe read us a few lines? Yes, I remembered. Happiness is a feeling. Happiness is a feeling. I feel happy to be with my family. Happiness makes one feel bright. Happiness makes one to be nice. Very good. You've got a natural rhythm. Shane Devon. <laughs> yeah, he does. I think you're a natural rapper. And Felicity from uh, the Australian Inclusive Hip Hop Crew, do you want to tell us a bit about your experience of the workshop? Coming into this workshop, I thought it was lovely to meet all the students and, and the teachers and everybody. Um, uh, from India, I, th I think it was absolutely beautiful. L yes, learning learning a different language is difficult. Yes, but you do get the hang of it the the more you um, go through it, the more you um, get taught it. You do learn more, mm -hmm. and you do pick it up. And I thought they they. And I thought they picked, they picked it up very, very quickly. It was amazing to see how quick they 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 picked it up and, and made this song. It was amazing. In three days, they've made a song. That's amazing. Amazing. Felicity, you've had the privilege of already working with Keith from the United States in your work with Inclusive. And now you got double the value because you got to work with Sizzy from Kolkata. Can you tell us what it was like for you to work with two international artists along with the students? I loved it. I loved it. I loved the experience. And I can't wait to keep working with the two. Whoa. I hope. I hope. I, I hope in the future I'll still have Keith 
and city to work with. I'd like to learn a whole sure. lot more. Beautiful. And Thanks go for over this. one day and go over one day and actually perform, create something and, and be in their performances on that. I think it'd be wonderful. Beautiful. That's our ultimate goal, I think, isn't it? Once we get beyond the impact of COVID is to be, in, be together in person. Um, Rena, the, you know, the one thing I'd love to say is that I think one of the things that this the COVID restrictions has brought to us uh, is that the workshop, the, the miracle, the surprising thing of the workshop is that the workshop ran in the homes of mm. 20 or 25 people. It wasn't an institutional workshop. It wasn't no. running a workshop space. We didn't have to hire a room. We didn't sit in groups. We went into each other's houses. You are in my home and I am mm. in your home. And for mm -hmm. me, that is like one of the most moving, powerful things. You know, Cheyenne Deb, you're sitting there with your father and I get to meet yeah, your father. Yeah, wonderful. And Cheyenne, when I met with Cheyenne and we talked, I met Cheyenne's mother. And there is this deep human connection that comes from this miracle, the good things that came of COVID and the miracle of the internet that has brought us close together. And for me, I think someone said this before, Keith, I'm not sure if you said it, there is something very deeply healing for humanity to meet like this and to share and connect as human beings, very deeply healing. There are so many things in the world, there are so many people and sometimes our leaders in the world who steer us in the wrong direction for humanity. Mm. And it's simple, humble work, like writing a song together with an unexpected group of people that is deeply healing. And for me, it sets off a vibration a song is merely a vibration of sound waves. That's all it is. In a very particular yeah. shape, it is just sound vibrating. And I really believe to my core that that vibration changes the world. It rings in all of us and it rings beyond us into other people and it all meshes like the ripples on a puddle of water and goodness comes in the world because of it. So. That's my personal experience of the workshop. I'm really honoured, Shay and Deb, and your father to be in your home. Mm. Thank you for having us, and guests in your home. Thank you so much. And what I get out of this, be, meeting all, meeting Keith and and you guys, and that I've just I've just been welcomed in to. Two new families, which I've never been in, and it feels it feels beautiful. Yes, it really does. It's beautiful. Um, no, I would just like to kind of uh, echo everyone's sentiments and say that this has been an incredibly rewarding experience, and um, yeah, really <laughs> humbling and um, emotional, and um, I'm very grateful, and I can't wait to do some like further the work so thank you mm. for having me <laughs> thank you thanks uh, everyone from uh, from kolkata center for creativity i would say that this intercultural exchange uh, in this as i am calling it all the time a pilot project has made a compelling case on how cultural projects play a vital role in empowering marginalized communities in this case differently abled in the absence of, especially in India, in the absence of pedestrian-friendly active spaces that are safe, clean, and well-maintained, people who are differently abled have much smaller choices to engage art in public spaces. When each one of us, with all our different abilities, express ourselves through music, movement, lyrics, and stories, it shows our strength in diversity. We are fortunate, we, we at KCC, could play a small role in connecting and bringing so many people together in celebration of life and self-expression. And we hope that we get to create more such connections through many such partnerships 
and create more mm -hmm. magic in coming days. I would not now request. Uh, let's introduce superstar. Oh yeah. Oh Lee, yeah. Could you could you introduce uh, the superstar song? Tell us who it's by, and so that watchers from around the world can understand what they're about to watch. Okay. Do, do you want me to say that? Could you introduce yeah. the song? Okay. Um, um, the superstar track it was very good, but um, it's by. By us from Warren Hart. Oh, you there. You see it okay? I wasn't I in wasn't this in one. It. Sometimes I feel a hole, but the holes in my heart. Really had a heart condition and I nearly fell apart. Glad I'm strong like my sister and my back like a spine. If you find some down syndrome, that shit's probably mine. No. You wanna ask a question? I don't like. You always wanna pour it, I guess they wanna fight. Yes. I stand up, I speak on my own feet. So say your hard words, you would not defeat. Everybody has the right to speak out and have a say So listen to the message that I'm spinning out today I want people to be safe I want people to be accepted And made a website So we can be protected Get out, out of my space Who do you think you are? You don't even know me I'm a rock star Get out of my space Who do you think you are? You don't even know me I'm a superstar Lee, who I be? Can't nobody battle with me You go first, do you worst When I'm finished, you will see Got my cape, got my glasses Got my kicks, got my wraps Got my style, got my swagger Got my crew, this is facts When I first started, I was a little disrespectful Children got to know my teacher now I was regretful She's the best teacher than anyone Taught me how to swim, now I'm a champion Get out of my space, who do you think you are? You don't even know me, I'm a rock star Get out of my space, who do you think you are? You don't even know me, I'm a superstar My name is Jenna, I love MJ So far in operation, I'm alive today Let me with a scar on my chest and my mind Someone to relate to is really hard to find Like my inner rock star, feeling beauty in my heart I don't need your approval, I've been bad from the start Call me MJ Jenna, be it Billie Jean Just a book, but it's covered up, it's not what it seems Not what it seems Not what it seems. Check this out. Check this out. Get out of my face. Who do you think you are? Check this out. Get out of my face. Who do you think you are? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a superstar. Yeah, I got a boyfriend. Treats me like a queen. Taking to a great spot. Yeah, here's a dream. Kiss it on my bedroom when I'm alone. Diamond ring, diamond ring, because a queen is a throne. Game of you are fake.
that was dope. Phenomenal, really. So this three-day workshop is oh, nice. actually a very, very small uh, glimpse into what can happen at the end of the tunnel. Lovely. So uh, I would now like to uh, invite our respondents one by one uh, to, you know, share what they gathered through this uh, webinar and also the question that they would they might like to put to the artist. Uh, in India or uh, in Australia and US. So Suchandra, uh, let's start with you first. Okay, hello everyone. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. Suchandra Chatterjee from Kolkata. Mm -hmm. uh, and I basically work as right. a counseling psychologist and I'm representing my organization called Calcutta Rescue. So first of all, I would like to thank Kolkata Center for Creativity for giving me this amazing opportunity. And it was really heartwarming to see uh, this um, a, a small glimpse of this three-day workshop. And uh, it is really amazing. Uh, so uh, basically, uh, our organization, Calcutta Rescue, uh, 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 is working with... Uh, uh, like disability unit and we have almost uh, 250 patients who are um, uh, like uh, taking the medical support and dance movement therapy and drawing therapy and everything uh, but this amazing experience uh, which I uh, just saw it was uh, truly phenomenal and I wish that I could be a part of this uh, project as well and um, as a psychologist, um, I can uh, say that this music therapy uh, can address a number of sensory needs uh, to children and adults who have these uh, special needs. And um, what uh, you people done in just three days is absolutely magical. And I don't think that I uh, am really ready to ask any question or criticize on anything because I'm, I'm just overwhelmed what I saw and um, I think music therapy is a good uh, like support for uh, those uh, people um, for releasing and exploration of emotion and uh, they uh, get to know about verbal and nonverbal communication through through this and this hip hop uh, thing really um, enhanced their, I think, fine and gross motor movements. And uh, I think uh, you people uh, should do collaboration more so that we can experience uh, more magical things like this. Thank you. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you for joining us today and, you know, witness this for so for taking out, taking out time and I know that we actually did not give you much of the notice because since everything was an experiment we really didn't know what will happen at the end so really thankful for joining us and I'm sure uh, in future definitely we can sit with the, the team over there in your organization yes. and think of ways to extend maybe the similar experience. Definitely. I'm now going to invite um, Tulika Das into the conversation. Uh, can you please come online? Mm -hmm. So if you could please uh, share your experience and what you gathered through this webinar and if you have any questions. To the yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, uh, basically, like my first club is theater. So I'm a theater performer, actor and director. Um, more than 30 years again, I'm associated with uh, uh, theater in Kolkata and in West Bengal and nationally as well. So um, uh, thing is that, you know, um, I must say that um, you all have uh, used uh, the uh, advantage side of pandemic. We are when we are really frustrated with this pandemic, and you very intelligently, I think, uh, you have used that, and our uh, kids have uh, enjoyed a lot. That's my point. That uh, yeah, they have achieved, but I'm not looking at the achievement, but the enjoyment. You know what we can see that. Uh, they're really enjoying that's the great part huh? and uh, 
yeah uh, as we all know that we most of the we organizations are doing music uh, therapy and drama therapy theater workshops art therapy is a uh, unique tool and uh, useful tool we all use uh, and uh, as anamika said already that music uh, background was there already they had practiced and they really they got the chance and they might think more than 100% present they have used it uh, and enjoyed so thanks to all the organizers you know kcc and uh, the my uh, friends who are in other countries and uh, um, given us the opportunity our uh, kids the opportunity to be associated with them learn from them and i'm sure that they uh, our kids have helped them to learn as well it's a both way always uh, so that's great great experience mm, uh, and um, as um, uh, my another friend said i must uh, request kcc for um, uh, this type of more collaboration and um, uh we all can try to reach the unreached people more and more you know um i understand that uh, our uh, the socio economically ma- uh, marginalized families and their children are missing everything in this um, internet arena you know um, education and everything so um, like if we all try we can reach them Uh, uh nothing is impossible so um, i don't know how long this pandemic will continue but um, and if we all will be there but mane i don't whether it is continue or not i just really nowadays don't care i think that uh, let's do it and um, enjoy the life so um, i uh, really request kcc that uh, you are doing all this unique uh, uh, trial and error basis experience and learning and helping us to learn and uh, my friends who are in other countries but uh, ready to uh, make friends in india uh, most welcome we all welcome you and let's do more and more collaboration and uh, uh, we will enjoy our uh, sharing learning experiences thanks a lot to all of you thanks a lot to kids love you all thank you so much thank you that's true that you know as you say that he has also learned a lot during this uh, work- workshop so i think uh, uh, we have done our bit of what we wanted to do to this webinar and uh, phil if you have any closing remarks keith anybody if you, they want to have you want to have any closing remarks please share i actually think it's been really wonderful hearing from everybody today okay i am um, fantastic action of ideas and you know felicity and lee and shayan deb hearing your descriptions of the project that's what this work is about and you have such beautiful insight and wisdom uh that shares with us and that's 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 the project that's what we're here for so thank you so much and keith thank you for 50 thank years you. of hip-hopping. thank you sir <laughs> thank you thank you i am doing and let's hope this is truly a pilot project and we'll we've got the pilot now we just got to build the plane and take off <laughs> i'm sure we will thank you so much thank you everyone for joining us to- today and uh for all the hard work the team has put in last 3 days i would also like to thank the team from kcc shrabasti titas and other people who are behind the scene but are always always helping thank you so much for being there throughout and let's hope that we all thank you enjoy the day thank you